Hey everyone, so for today's very quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can save a file from your computer onto a flash drive using a Mac. Now I'm using a desktop, but this should work on a laptop as well. I've got, for this particular example, it's a Stitch file that I've got opened in Embrilliance because I see this question asked a lot about how do you get your stitch files onto your flash drive if you don't have a machine that has Wi-Fi capability. And again, if you can hear the noise in the background, it's my dog, Eddie, that always turns into a naughty child the minute I start talking to my computer. So here's my file. This is just my example, just one that I just opened up randomly and I'm in Brilliance Essentials. Well, this can work for any file type. So, you know, if you're in a document or, you know, in a video or anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top of my page. You probably won't be able to see this. But I'm going to choose File. I'm going to choose Save Stitch File As. I'm going to wait for the box to open, the Save box, and I'm just going to call it Video Test. I'm going to save it on my desktop and obviously because this is a stitch file I'm saving it as a PES file but you know whatever type you're saving you just save your type and I'm going to save it and I just find it's easier to put things on my desktop so there's the file it's a PES stitch file and I've called it video test so now I'm going to plug in my USB flash drive into my Mac. So I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to wait for it to show up on my desktop. And again, here is my USB stick. Now, if yours doesn't show up as an icon on your desktop, what you need to do is go to wherever your taskbar is on your Mac. Mine is in the bottom of my screen. You can't, you won't be able to see it, but it's at the bottom of my screen in my dock. Now, if you've moved your dock to the side, it will be there. But in the dock, you will find an icon that's a kind of square with rounded corners. And it's a face. And half the face is in blue and half the face is in grey. And when you hover over it, it says Finder. So I'm going to select my Finder. And in my Finder, over on the left-hand side... Look for where it says locations and you'll see your USB flash drive. Now, my USB flash drive, as you can see here on the screen, is called Embroidery because that's what I named it. Yours might be called ScanDisk or whatever other type of flash drive you're using. So if it doesn't show up on the screen, go to your finder. Your finder box will open. Click on it, whatever your name is. Now, inside my flash drive, drive I've created folders so if I was going to save this particular file I would want to put it in a folder and it's a valentine so I would put it in the valentine folder but just for the sake of the video I'm not going to because I'm not going to stitch this file I'll just delete it afterwards but I'm just going to drag and Ooh. drop it into the file close that down now when I double click to open my USB flash drive, there's the vid, there is the file. So I'm going to select it, right click and say move to bin to get rid of it. And I'm going to close that down. So now I'm going to show you how you can do it if you've got both items on your desktop. So again, you can either just drag and drop it. And then when you double click on your flash drive, it's there. Or again, if you wanted to put it in a folder, double click on your folder and then drag and drop it into your folder. As I said, I'm not going to do that because I don't need this file. I'm only using it for the video. But either way, whether your USB stick shows up on your desktop or whether you access it through your finder window, once you've got it open, you can create folders. And the way to do that is you need to have your USB open. And then in a blank space, you would right click and choose new folder. Your folder shows up. I'm just going to call it test and hit enter. 
and there's my folder. So again, I'm going to close it down. I'm going to double click on the USB stick and there's the test. And again, I could drag and drop that stitch file into that respective folder. And then when I double click, there's the file. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.